Canine Web Protection is free for home users and this can add to your security and your child's security. If you have children, this is a great little program to have. It's very easy and very simple to download and install. You need to enter your first name, your last name and a valid email and verify your email. How did you hear about us? That's entirely optional and click on request license. Now this will be sent in a very short period of time to your email account. You will have a license number, highlight it and copy it, click on the download link and you have the option there. You can download K9 for Windows 2000 XP and Vista, Mac OS X 10.4.7 and higher and there's also a Windows 64 and Windows 7 64 bit versions in beta which are also available. I will download the 2000 XP Vista file and save that to my desktop. Now when it's downloaded, simply double click it to run it. It's quite a quick download and the installation is fairly quick as well. Click next, agree to the license, click next, click next again, paste the license key in. If you haven't got a license, click get license, click next. Create an administrator password and verify it. Don't make it too easy, don't make it too hard. Click next. You have the option to place a shortcut on the desktop or place a shortcut on the quick launch toolbar or both. I will opt to have a shortcut on the desktop. Click install and allow the program to go through and install it. Now when it's finished the installation you will be prompted to reboot to activate it. So I will reboot and come back. OK, I've come back, I've rebooted, here's the icon on the desktop, you double click it to run and this will open up a browser page. Now click on setup and enter your administrator password and click OK. Click on setup and the default settings you may find there's a few there that you really don't want in there so click on custom and if you click on these you can see what they block. And this one blocks spyware and this is spyware and malware sources that are known. You can block social networking, peer-to-peer, -peer, phishing services, hacking, pornography, adult mature content, uh, content and so on. There's an awful lot you can block. Uh, open image and media searches and so it goes on. There's other categories. You can also tick these as you feel fit. You can also tick unrated sites and web advertisements. You must click save when you've done this. Now I will untick a few of these because social networking I use as well as surfing on the dark side to find these nasty sites that you lot come across by accident. Now you must save the settings. Time restrictions. If you have children you, may, you know, you may want to use this. You can use unrestricted or you can use what they call night guard. And you can preset a time where the internet will be completely blocked. Now use this carefully. Don't go over the top. You know, come to an agreement with your children as to suitable times that they can use the computer between. You know, you want to make them your friend. They're not just your child. Get them on your side. You can also customize this. Uh, if you want to block it from 9 o'clock to midnight, then simply highlight it, click block, and save. And internet access will be blocked. Now, website exceptions, you can always block sites simply by adding the URL here. For example, I will block facebook.com and add it to the list. You can always allow websites regardless of the category. So I will add free PC security, which is my own site, which I don't want to block. But through other blocking mechanisms that are pre-selected in the categories, it could be blocked. Add it to the list, save. Blocking effects. You have the option for K9 to bark when a web page has been blocked. And show admin options. Now this is useful because it gives you the option to override sites that are blocked. Enable timeout. Use this carefully. You know, the default is 10 block pages within 10 minutes, web access is denied for 30 minutes. This will cause a few tantrums. So use this carefully. Don't go over the top. And 
explain to your child what you're doing and why. Again, save your settings, URL keywords. You can enter specific keywords and block sites that contain these words. Now, if we put in sex, pornography, uh, if I add in antivirus, I will also add free antivirus because there's an awful lot of malware out there that's offering free antivirus scans and free malware scans and so it goes on. A lot of people are downloading this stuff and you can actually help yourself by entering the keywords. If you click on advanced you can force safe search and on the major search engines Google, MSN Live, Yahoo, Ask, A9, AltaVista and Orange safe search will be enforced immaterial of what you've set it on. You can block unsafe search on other search engines, but you need to use this with care because you may find a site has its own search facility and it could be blocked by ticking this box. So be very careful using this. You can also filter secure traffic using HTTPS. You can enter supervisor mode. This will show on blocked pages. And you can reset K9 to the default settings. And password and email. If you want to change your password, enter your current password, put in your new password, verify, click change password. Email, if you wish to change it, enter your new email, verify it, and change email. K9 update, if there's an update available, you can find out here. So if we go back to the web categories, and what I will do, I will search now for Facebook, and here we go, Facebook's been blocked. So with the admin panel showing here, this little link, click on that, enter your password, and this will allow access to Facebook for 15 minutes. You can change the time. And there you are, there's Facebook. So for 15 minutes, that will be available, then it will be blocked. Now I'll do a search for antivirus through Google, and we'll see what comes up. Now antivirus is in my URL keywords to be blocked. So what I can do, is go down and allow this keyword and I will change it to five minutes. Again, enter the password, click OK, and the page will reload. And here you have antivirus. And this is the way to use it. You know, set it up to what suits you. As you can see, Google Safe Search is on, even though mine is set. Do not filter my search results. But K9 has enforced Google Safe Search because that is what is pre-selected in the control panel. You can also view internet activity. You can look at the hit summary of the categories. As you can see, there's, the red ones are highlighted. These are blocked because it contains the word sex. This is not a site I visited, but it was there in the background somewhere. So you can check each of these and see what's been visited. You can also click on general hit summary, URL requests and so on. And you can see what sites have been visited, what sites have been blocked, what which sites have been temporarily allowed and so on. You can get a lot of information from this. You can also clear the activity data. You can clear all but the last 90 days or all but the last 30 days or you can clear all the logs. Uh, recent admin events, you can view all and so it goes on. There's an awful lot of information you can get here. If you use this program, install it on each computer that you're going to be using and your child can surf safer. Use it alongside Web of Trust add-on and you will get plenty of warning about malicious and dangerous sites and you will benefit from it. And it will make surfing a lot safer and a much better experience for everybody. If you want any more information, check out my blog which is Free PC Security and you can find it at freepcsecurity.co.uk.